Hello, in this video I want to talk about Shareable Service Management 10.0 and how it can become the automation epicenter of your organization. Not just a service management platform for your IT department or even beyond into other areas of your, your company or organization, but truly become the central point where all automation and all data can flow through. So, to start with, anyone who's had any experience with CSM is familiar with concepts like business objects, forms, grids, and one steps that comprise the data, the presentation, and the additional functionality uh, that you can configure through the platform, all of which are available through the desktop client, the browser client, and the web portal. But in addition to this platform, Sharewell provides additional services that take the data and the functionality that it provides above and beyond just your average server client or data-driven application. To start with, we're all familiar with its integration with email. So uh, with uh, the mail delivery service, or MDS, you can obviously send email from the system, but you can also process email coming into the system with the email and event monitor. This means that you're not just a system that uh, sends email one way, it really is two-way email communication completely automating the email service management workflow. In addition to that, there are ways to automate processes uh, kind of offline. Uh, so in addition to some automated actions that can be defined through one step that can happen kind of in real time as data is manipulated within the system, there's offline batch processing through automation processes through the automated process server, or uh, truly scheduled processes that happen once a night, once a week, uh, on some, some periodic basis uh, through the scheduled process system. Now, that's great uh, for a system that's completely self-contained, but what about integration with other systems? That's truly the crux of uh, how a system really becomes uh, the automation epicenter. It needs to integrate with any other system that you run, regardless of vendor, regardless of file format, regardless of data format. And Sharewell provides several ways to do that. From very early on, several years ago, uh, there was a, a, a system for uh, batch data input. Things like uh, external data connectors or uh, data import. And that still exists. But that's it can be scheduled through the scheduled process, but it's still a large chunk of data done at very specific points in time. Uh, and there are, that is obviously not ideal for a system to become the epicenter of your automation landscape. Going the other direction, Sharewell has support to call web services or REST services uh, from one steps. Uh, this allows that two-way communication, so data can come in and data can go out through uh, web service calls. Finally, in CSM 10, Sharewell added something that's called webhooks. So this is real-time data input. So this is a way that other systems can ship data over to CSM when something has happened with it, either when it's created or when it's been modified, so that Sharewell can do something with that data and reflect those changes within the platform. So with this entire landscape, this really means that Sharewell service management can become your automation epicenter. You have data uh, coming in and going out in real time. You have email going in and out in real time through completely automated means and firing off automated processes at the time when they need to fire off so that everything can stay in sync and everything can be managed. And of course, 
it's not just a black box. It does provide clients so that you can interact with the data directly in the system live in real time. And with that, Sharewell really becomes your true automation epicenter and as Sharewell puts it, truly makes workflow.